the person sitting in front of me is dedicated to their highest timeline, is dedicated to working hard, playing hard, is dedicated to seeing no one specific individual has any choice on their worth. I see a person that no longer plays games. And what I mean is it's not that you were a person that was the game player. You see the hidden, you, you can see clear as day when somebody has a hidden motive, when something isn't clicking right. And you don't just go along to make everything cordial, but you're also a person that is has a deep sense of self-control. So you have that sixth sense and you can notice when something's up, but you can also notice when things are extremely positive and when people's own insecurities or what is, etc., are clouding their judgment from what is in front of them. My friend, I see somebody who is owning spiritual alchemy without even realizing it. Spiritual alchemy is inwards, comes outwards. It's when you transform yourself and therefore you're able to do a cause and effect in this 3D existence. You are in control of your timeline. You are living and continuing to breathe in and out. What I see is you're ready for the cherry on top, if you will. You're secure. You have a lot to offer in a relationship. You don't need anybody else to make you happy. But you're also not this hyper independent person where you're like, oh, I can't be with anybody because I don't have time for anybody else. But no, you're, you're this person that's like, hey, I got a lot on my plate. And I've needed a long time of being by myself to figure out what aspects of a person can work with this new me. And I say new me because it's like in a split second, you saw the power of your sentientness. You saw the power of what you think within truly affects your surroundings. And for a long time, people had an identity attached to who you were. And you've had to migrate away from individuals who are too trapped in their own cycle repeats. To see that you have upgraded as well. I see. You see where the growth is. You notice which way the sun is shining. And you don't stand away from it anymore. Spirit's telling me somebody sees you also as the cherry on top. You have attracted in a person that is also independent, also overcame hyper-independency. Somebody that sees, I was attracting what I was, and that's why I needed a very long period of not being with anybody. To see who I am and who I attract now. You understand the responsibility that you hold in this lifetime. And you're starting to realize, maybe I'm doing things a lot more alone than I really need to. Has spirit been showing me the signs that they don't want me to be holding back anymore? And that's in love. It's very interesting. Very interesting reading. So, because this is a love reading, but somebody sees you 
as a cherry on top. Yeah. All right, so this is definitely a reading about a person you could not have met until you were willing to do that leap of faith. I see two people who could grow years and years together. This is not something that is a, a hit it and quit it, if you will. And the next recent... Oh, well, in the recent times, so this is, could have already happened. You could have already met this person in very recent times, though. Is your collective takes a resonate? So some of you, it's about to be happening. The recent is soon. I see... I see a person that is really able to fight through their own monsters and is not a person that can put away what needs to be talked about. A very communicative partner. Somebody whose mind is always working. An individual that has pure intentions and a lot to add to your field, if you will. I see this connection very fastly, like, it, it's like an acceleration of we both know slow and steady wins the race, but slow and steady winning the race does not mean we don't open our messages to each other. Slow and steady wins the race doesn't mean while I'm out living my life while I'm going ahead and, and completing my duties that I put you on a back burner. I see two very responsible individuals who are ready to have that person that it's not about work hard, play hard. It's about living life to the fullest. A person's energy that wasn't serving you, that's totally different than the one I'm talking about right now. You cut off and, and I think you finally became over somebody. You kind of just, you, you looked in the mirror, you were looking at your phone, whatever it is. And I feel in this past week, somebody just being like, you know what? That person for years that I was attached to, that person that I, I craved their attention so much, it's not gonna happen and I'm okay with it. I'm more than okay with it. They taught me so much about myself because it's really easy to say, oh, that didn't work out so now I'm just, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go on with my life. You can go on with your life, but there's still a part of your fucking soul that clings onto that person that never gave you that validation your ego was searching for. There is a difference between somebody holding their feelings back because they're not ready to be in a relationship because they're scared of the way you make them feel versus somebody who literally does not understand your worth and strings you along. I sense the beginning of your spiritual journey could have really been enacted by somebody you saw to be your divine. And for a long time, you were pulled to learn more about spirituality, yourself, and etc. from this connection. And then you started experiencing other things, other awakenings, other people. But that was like your root, that was like your anchor and you were like, I can't give up. If I if I tell the universe it's not going to happen, it's not. Well, that is a right mindset, but about different situations. When it comes to your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations, finding your divine counterpart, you don't give up on that. But you don't tell the universe it's this one person and nothing else. They have to look like this. Hey, that could be my universal truth. There will be other spiritual people that will tell you, Something a little differently that you can manifest one specific person. I see that as manipulating freedom of will. But again, you take what resonates. If you're a person that feels you, there's this one person you're manifesting 
and it can't be anybody else, I'm telling you, you're putting yourself in a box. But that, again, is my universal truth. Sometimes our ego wants us to see this one person as everything because our ego knows that's what we're going to continue to get hurt. The what is, if I would have done this, if I would have done that, it doesn't matter. Things happen the way they were supposed to. If you instantly knew from the beginning that that person you thought was your divine actually wasn't, but they were a pivotal point of your existence, they were a necessary part of your story, you wouldn't have learned the lessons. You would have instantly from that point been like, oh, this is not my person. It's, so I'm just going to go forward. And then there would be no chain of effects to be who you are now. Don't you see? When you let go of it having to be one specific person and I've held on to it for this long, I'm right at, I'm right there. I can't let go. That is not that is not the same as being a master manifester. That that is not the same as stating I have my divine counterpart in this lifetime. I have that individual, that spirit attracted to me. What I see is there is, this reading definitely took a different turn, not in a bad way at all, very self-reflective reading, that you're like, I am really grateful. And I'm done. My heart does not feel the same way for that person all those years ago. They helped me see where are my parts of my existence that I'm still looking outwards for acceptance. Why am I being attracted to the person that pushes me away versus a person that shows me my worth? Why am I caring so much about wearing the perfect pair of clothes, having the, the perfect makeup on, having the perfect haircut for a person that doesn't even look my way when I should be doing all this for myself? Because the old me, the lost me, still feels... Like there's an unfinished story with somebody that the story is done with. Sometimes closing the book, there is no goodbye. I feel like somebody here next to me has realized we already said our goodbyes without saying goodbye. You've completed more than a cycle. You've completed a series. And I'm telling you, because you've understood the cause and effect of everything. Now you're more ready in this moment than you've ever been in your entire life to attract in and be with whoever your divine is. Things have been cooking behind the scenes. And just as you're doing these realizations, so is whoever your divine is. Both of you were attached to the best way to state it is a false divine, but it's part of the process. That false divine is also a mirror into your own soul. Nobody was the one that got away with you. You served your exact position in that person's life and they served their exact position in your life. All of these souls, we all, in the most mundane way I can explain it, sign up to be part of each other's experiences, to learn and weave in and out, but see not every single person that you started with will cross that finish line with you. In recent times, I see a person who has expanded their found family, has released fear of trusting others, and even more just a romantic sense, 
platonic family that's blood or not blood. I see a person who's just forgiven everyone. Not give excuses, but understand and forgive. And understand forgiveness is for you. So you don't have to hold all that. What I see is somebody now who can receive downloads of from their higher self and register when it's that versus a different type of guidance. Because your higher self talking to you feels different than an angel showing you a message a familiar coming your way, meeting an aligned soul in this 3D existence. The feeling of your higher self is so far drastically different. And you've been feeling that higher self pulling you to jump and leap, to rest when you need to rest. Your higher self is the most connected it has ever been to you in this existence, in this moment, right now. What I hear is somebody in front of me for a long time, just going back to whoever that other person was. That was your false divine, if you will. You're somebody that was waiting for a long time for them to pop back into your life. For months, years, hell, maybe even decades. Because it'd be like that. You wondered one day would they take a leap of faith from me. Again, remember there's an energy difference between a person who is scared of what is best for them. Not healed enough, not ready to admit what they feel versus a person that genuinely writes you off. So that person that you were waiting to jump back into your life, you had chemistry, but they need you to understand spirit stating that this person didn't intentionally make you a game, but it happened. They wanted your attention. They saw you in the highest of lights as a very bold leader. And I sense a person though that really likes when people chase them and you stopped chasing you stopped chasing you realized the deceit surrounding you so long you were like once i get this person everything's gonna be okay all of the work i've done it's gonna be worth it all in this one second because they placed you put so much energy so much intention that the only way you were living your highest timeline is if this person was in your life and it's the farthest from the truth. Being part of your highest timeline, being in your own highest timeline, nobody else has the effect of it. They are there. We are all riding side by side each other like lanes in the road. And sometimes we intertwine. But you're still in your own lane, etc. You don't need one person to be there or not to be there, to be... Um, validation that you're doing what's best for you because they're on their own timelines they have their freedom of will you can feel when your ego is pulling you to do something to just simply be seen versus doing something because you are called to go there, to say this, that it aligns with more than your confidence. It aligns with your purpose. The reason this person stopped coming around is because you stopped feeding their ego. They were so used to being able to send you literal fucking pebbles. For you to go ahead and try to roll their way. This person that's not part of your highest timeline. But it was a pivotal point of getting you here.
it does feel like they miss your energy, but understand your growth has happened enough that they can't trick you anymore. They can't have their fun. And they've done a lot of self-reflection about that. How they could have somebody as good as you wanting them and them throwing it away for games, etc. But again, you both play a role in each other's lives. Just as you receive this big download and understand that even though you love this person, you cannot be in love with them. Even though you have a special place in your heart for this person, they don't get the whole heart. They don't get the whole room. That you can't chase anything and expect it to return in your favor. You genuinely can notice from the beginning now when somebody's going to give me balance, give and take. You can notice avoidant signals. You can see when a person simply wants what you have. Or your soul. So the individual in front of me, since you've truly let go of that false flame or that false divine, take it as it resonates. Your next relationship, your next dynamic is somebody that truly sees neither person can beat around the bush about your connection or nor wants to. I have a very good pairing of a masculine and feminine energy. This reading this reading is about that next stage of courage because as this person enters your life You've gotten so used to being in that state of the independency. You've gotten so used to believing everybody's keeping something and you're waiting for every new relationship or etc. when you're in it. You're waiting for the facade, if you will, to whatever. Wow. What I really am feeling right now is a person that's seeing, am I going Am I going to go too fast into just assuming that somebody has to keep something from me always? So since we've been able to dive through what you released, that you're correct, that person, no matter if they would come back or not, there was already a re the reason already for being together is completed and it would go back into a sense of cycle repeating. It would go into not understanding So with that being said, no longer waiting for somebody to return, you feel excited, more than excited, confident about being back, not in the dating game, in the headspace of let's allow love. Not only just your ego, your human self stating, Let's allow romantic love, your higher self, your guides, and etc. saying yes. The next dynamic, you're going to have a person that tells you, if you make the effort, I will. But if you don't, I don't go above and beyond for people anymore. That won't show me. We're both deserving to be in each other's lives. Your next relationship is a person where communication, open communication is of most importance. What ifs are not a game 
You, you too are people who have not given up on the fact that your realistic love is your fairy tale love. You can have that person that accepts all of you. But with accepting all of you doesn't mean they promote staying stagnant. I have a person connected to you who has worked on being their own healthy partner and is, it's valid. Like they, their words are valid when they say something, they'll, they're, you'll see it, their own actions will prove it. From the very beginning, the moments where there could be turbulence, the moments where there could be road bumps, etc. They don't, they don't run away from you. They, they say, no, we're going to talk about this now. And I'm going to, I want to know what your triggers are. I want to know what parts of you, you feel you things that can make you close up things that make you ha they are a communicative source. This person, you are going to be so grateful could not have been met, could not have met your frequency when your mind was still distracted by other people. This person, your, your connection is going to flow extremely fast. But with it stating that, even though the connection is going to be flowing extremely fast, the way you two meet up and actually become in a physical committed relationship will be at a steady pace. It's true that you feel something with the person and you know from the beginning if there could be something more. But to not instantly make everything fit with them. You are ready to be in a relationship again. Now, what's the last thing to do? Remember, you're in the state of completely attracting whoever your person is, wherever you're supposed to go, whatever you're supposed to do, will enact by remembering you are in a state of attracting. To remember this person that comes in it's not that they are the whole puzzle for you. They are a missing puzzle piece that is putting in your whole picture. That's what I have for y'all today. And what we're going to promote today is Twitch. Over on Twitch, every single live stream, I give away a free tarot reading. That stream schedule is Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays at between like the time normally like around 10 30 but i always log in and between 9 30 to 10 30 p.m eastern time and then randomly throughout the week at night time i will go on as well when I, I just got free time and want to play some video games over there i have the gift giveaway where you put the key word in of the chat it's on my screen and then it instantly puts you into the giveaway all you must simply do other than that is be following me on twitch and watching the active live stream make sure that if you um are somebody that comes put your name in and then you go ahead and like you exit the the stream make sure that your twitch has it to where i can message you a lot of people, it's it's privated, it's locked. It's called a whisper, in case you're not aware. On Twitch, it's called a whisper. Um, so you have to have it to where other people can message you because if you don't have that locked, or if you have that locked, and I try to find you to message you if you had already left the chat, etc., I've came into complications where I, I find the person and I literally can't tell them that they won the, the chat. I try, but... But I do all I can. So make sure that when you follow me on Twitch, you also have it to where I can message you. You can go simply into your settings and it shows you the communications, etc. from there. That is Twitch at Uncle Bronze Official. And the stream giveaway is Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. And I normally stay on for about two to three hours at a time, those three days. That's what I got for y'all today. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's go.
Thank you.